All right, so when it comes to making space in tough fights, uh, I think of it as three different ways of making space. Number one is deleting certain enemies. And this usually is imps, hit scanners, pigs, especially pain elementals. So one thing I want you to think about with pain elementals is, especially in a situation where you're stuck using the rocket launcher, think about if you have one or two lost souls from that one pain elemental, think about how much less room you actually have to fight, right? And if, and even if that's not the case, one blocking you and making it so that you can't dodge anything is a huge issue. So. Uh, that's what makes even the pain elemental fight in this map very difficult because you can't exactly prevent lost souls from coming out. You're gonna have to deal with them. But yeah, uh, another thing is working the infighting. So I'll show a pretty good example of this. A lot of times you'll see a, a big room with like a, a couple cybers, you know, just a lot of other stuff, revs and hell knights and stuff like that. You don't really have the room to fight them, but if you're able to get the infighting going, then maybe you can weave between some infighting guys and get them all in like a nice corner or something like that. And then you can actually have room to fight. Uh, one more thing is controlling the monster AI. So when you're standing in a certain position, right? I'm sure a lot of people know this already, but uh, you know that monsters tend to move towards you wherever your direction is on the map, if they're targeting you, that is. So. If you can use that to your advantage to pull things out of your way and then make your way around, that's another really good way to make space for yourself. So I'm gonna show a couple examples of these. All right, so this is center map 18 and this wall right here has a lot of pigs behind there. It also has three roaming arch files and the idea is you got to get rid of a lot of the pigs or all of them as best as you can that way you actually have room to run around in this fight there's also a lot of hell knights and barons behind this wall you have those cybers which uh, will help work the infighting a little bit so we got just a little bit of everything in this fight so let me go ahead and start it no wait you go this way to start it <laughs> all right do that go ahead and start shooting pretty much want to wake up all the pigs and stuff so they can come out be out of my way yeah i just want to delay as long as possible grabbing this embalm about time now They see the longer that you delay. The more time you'll have to kill these arch files. And yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and just delete as many pigs as I can before all the Hell Knights come. All the Hell Knights and Barons. I see a couple. Yeah, about that time, about time to go. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get the cybers now. And when the cybers come out, they're going to start infighting with all this stuff and I should start to build enough room to get past everything. So let's go do that. I'm just trying to stay over here as long as possible. The end goal is to make it back up where those arch files, where the pigs were. You see, I got all this room now. Now the cybers are going to be working. I got all these rockets right now to be shooting. Oh, nice. That's what this megasphere is for. <laughs> yeah, I got all these rockets be working with and stuff at this point it's time to get out yeah let's just get out is 
see? Now, I've gotten the room. So you saw in that corner to my left there, I was pretty much just pulling those guys out of my way. So I can have the room to make it back here. And then once you make it back here, it's just, the rest of the fight is just like this. And it's just, be careful of those infighting rockets. And I'm not trying to rocket down all this crap. It's going to be SSG Fest later, too. Yeah, in this particular fight, you go here to blast cybers. And they teleport in. So, hopefully that makes sense. And I'm going to show you some more kind of mellow examples. Alright, so a couple of fun examples here. This fight, right? Hell Knights, Hell Knights, uh, and all the Hell Knights have cyber, one cyber each, and then eventually revs and arch files come out through there, and just revenants here, right? This is a classic example. It's very easy to get stuck in this fight. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the mega, so I don't have any advantage. So when you come here, let's say you need the mega right away, right? Uh, let's go and start the fight. So one consideration. One mistake that I see a lot of times in this fight is when the arch vials come out, people get tunnel vision and you start focusing too much on the arch vials and now the enemy AI is going to start working against you, right? So let's say the arch vials come about now, right? So let's get in there. Say we want to kill every arch file. Well now, look at my situation. I'm walled in. So why am I walled in? Well, I spent too much time in this corner. In this corner, I'm pulling everything towards me, right? So when I come out, you know, I, I should expect to see all of this stuff towards me. And, you know, you just don't want to spend that much time there. And, you know, if you get out, I guess it's a, it's a miracle. <laughs> But, yeah, definitely not the most high yield way of doing it. So let's try that again. And this time I'm going to focus on circling around, right? So that's definitely a huge consideration. A lot of these fights where, you know, you, you open up the fight and you you know there's arch files and you think to yourself, well the arch files have to die first, right? Might not be as important as making it around, see? So I got one, I think, as I was making it around. Push through the revenants and now I'm around again, right? You might have noticed this is how I did it in the UV fast, pretty much. I didn't just go and destroy every arch file right away, right? I went around and tried to just get them to end fight. I think that's a lot better and definitely a consideration you should have in the future. Uh, don't spend too much time in one corner trying to delete the arch files or whatever. Focus on circling around because when you circle around, right, they're more likely to get into the center of the arena. There you go. Another one. Map 30, right? Everyone knows this fight, right? Uh, wait, does it trigger? No, I don't have the BFG. This takes me to the BFG, right? Yeah, okay. And so also there's an arch file like all the way across the room from me. I go ahead and delete him first. Not that it matters much. He doesn't have a big range of uh, how far he can see you, but I just go ahead and delete them first. And then imps. Imps need to go down first, right? So you can have the space to run around. And when it comes to the infighting, I feel like the cybers that are high up are plenty comes to infighting so I just kind of get rid of the guys below as I have the opportunity didn't really have a good shot at that second one. Oh, and he's gone now 
Yeah, and um, of course, once again, you know, making big way around the arena, try to keep the Hell Knight centered. And then probably get rid of the Revenants, because getting up there, you press the switch and it gets rid of the Cybers or whatever. But yeah, so that's one uh, example of definitely deleting all the monsters there, deleting the imps, and deleting the cybers because getting rid of the cybers makes it so that you have like so many fewer ways of getting insta jib, right? This fight changed me. So I had to deal with this in D2 all 63 minutes in, it seems, and oh man, it gets tight. Pain Elementals and Imps, Hell Knights, man. The best thing I could come up with was to just get rid of the Pain Elementals as soon as possible, to shoot a bunch of rockets at them, clean up whatever's left using plasma, and then hope to God my DPS is enough to keep these guys back. Most of the time it was. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a, a recurring theme in these is you you can start off with rocket launcher but then you got to pull out a, a non rocket launcher weapon in a lot of these tight areas that way um you know rocket your face the whole time so enjoy Yeah, so at this point, all that splash damage from the rocket will take out the rest of the stuff, and then you're good. But yeah, starting the fight is uh, it's tough, because you gotta pick the right time when to pull out the plasma. You wanna do a good amount of damage with the rockets, but uh, yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. You're gonna have to switch weapons and... Definitely keep that in mind. Don't try to be greedy. Don't try to use the rocket launcher for too long. That's my biggest piece of advice in situations like this. All right, so we've learned a lot in this video about uh, killing enemies that take up a lot of space, not being greedy with the rocket launcher and all of that, but here are a couple more considerations. First of all, you may actually be able to pre-fire a lot of rockets or BFG before you start a fight. In fact, like even before you teleport into a fight, you can shoot BFG balls in the distance and have tracers going during the fight. A lot of stuff like that can help you out. Just like in this example here, shooting that rocket before we wake up everything. And another consideration is that really jerky movement, that really frantic movement around the room. It's definitely the way to go about these tight fights. Because you'll be dodging all the stuff that's behind you that you can't even see, baiting revenants and preventing them from attacking, all that good stuff. But I have to warn you, since I'm mentioning it now, I'm gonna talk just a little bit about hand and wrist health. So remember that pressing harder on the W key does not make you move any faster. And if you're doing that jerky mouse movement, you should not be abducting or adducting your hand at the wrist. I actually use my entire arm to move the mouse at all times. So. If you ever have questions or want me to clarify anything in the future, let me know. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Until next time, peace.